What's up, world? Lee here, coming to you with sticks, strings, and other things. My tiny little corner area of the internet where I come to you every other week to talk about what crafty things I have been getting my hands into. And um, it's been a few things. Um, I am in yet another area of my house. <laughs> I mean, pretty soon. If, but by the end of all of this, essentially what's going to happen is all of you can come over and visit. You'll know where everything's at. It'll be great. So out there is the deck where I was when it was really, really windy. And uh, yeah, I'm not out there today. It's kind of chilly. I'm in the Pacific Northwest and we are definitely having May. <laughs> oh yeah, we're having May. But that's okay, evidently. And like this weekend, it's supposed to be 80 degrees. This is not good, people. I'm just drinking a kind of plain black tea today. It's nice. It's pleasant. Anyhow, what was I saying? Oh, right. What was I saying? I was saying, welcome. Thank you for coming and visiting with me today. If you are new here, welcome. I hope you enjoy. If you are returning, welcome back. I hope to keep you well entertained and that we can sit around and chit chat for the next while. Now, I have been working on some knitting, some cross stitch, and some crochet, but I'm not showing the crochet. Again, there's very little done on it, and um, what would be the point? So, I think we should start with the cross stitch because that's actually where I have some finishes. Um, sort of. I'm, I'm doing my own kind of version of Mania where I chose four different projects and I worked on them for each week. And because I film now on Tuesdays for uploading on Wednesdays, you kind of got two projects for the price of one. Hey, that's fantastic, isn't it? So last time I was starting in on um, my Jane Reese and I did do a few more days on her, but not as much as I would have liked. So I have finished this alphabet and now I am working on this one. And so that's as far as I have made it with my Jane Reese. Um, yeah, evidently counting was difficult. So I was having some issues. And I'm sorry about the lighting. I'm, I'm sorry about the reflections. I, it, I'm doing the best I can. I'm trying to face in a certain way so that you don't get just just the reflections from the uh, window on the other side of the room. <laughs> we'll see how well I do. Anyhow, this was my Jane Reese, uh, and uh, yeah, I did not work on her every day like I was kind of hoping to, and yeah. But then Saturday showed up, and that was the day that I was switching over projects, and my last week was to be working on my mini months, which, mm, let's get real close and intimate now. Hi. All right, um, and they live in this lovely bag. Now, I have had these mini months going for, well, since they came out, and they came out in a 2004, but my little mini months. And I was working on October when I picked this up again. So whoop, let me find October. All the threads, they're kind of everywhere. So I picked it up and I had started October and I have finished October. Ooh, October with a ghosty and a bat, not a bat, a cat and a crow and a witch's hat. So I finished October. So then I started on November, because you know, months, that's how they go. So then I did November. Ta da! November. With some pumpkins and a leaf and turkey and the word grace. It's very sweet. And then, then, because I'd finished that, I, I decided to start in on December. And I finished December too. Look at that. We had a little Santa and a snowman and a mitten and a cardinal and 
snowflake. And that means I'm done. I have all my mini months now complete, which is astonishing. So now all I have to do is finish, finish them. And while I did do January, years and years and years ago, they If it feels like, there we go. I do have January. They go in this little star tin. Um, I don't like how it looks. It's all poofy and floofy and fluffy and I don't care for it. So I need to do them all over. This is the only one I finished, mind you, because um, fully finished, right? Because um, that's not really a thing I do well, fully finishing, but I'm going to try. So I have all these other months to try. So wish me luck on that and I may actually get some of that done. Who knows? I have no clue how to finish these things because they're tiny. I mean, this is, these are, these are teeny. I mean, look at that. Is, 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 is very wee and little. Um, they were stitched on, this gingham fabric, it's a 28 count fabric, and it is stitched over one. So they're small. They're like less than an inch and a half, which is cute. But that does mean that all the threads can finally go live in my stash again after living in this bag since 2004. I mean, it didn't take me 20 years to finish these months. This project cannot yet quite vote. You don't think? Wait, yeah, it can. It can't drink. This took me forever. But I very much like them. They're very cute. They're very wee. And so I'm gonna show them off. So that was the, the one in there was January. This one's February. And yes, there is a tiny little button that I, I need to add to most of them. March. April. May. June. You're gonna love the centering on this one. July. August. And I think I had just finished August when I ha was picking my cross stitch back up this past year after moving. I think August where I was where I had last been. So these are the ones that I have done this year. September. October. November and December, and you'd seen the last three earlier. So I'm very excited that I have these done. They're very sweet, they're very cute, and they are very finished. Now all I have to do is figure out how to fully finish them so they don't look so janky in the tin that I have for them. But I am very excited. This was like I said, part of my mania, but it was also on my whip go board. I had two different squares for saying that I was going to work 10 hours on this project. I ended up working only 15-ish hours, but I did get to mark off two of my whip go squares because, well, I mean, yeah, I didn't get a full 10 hours for the second square, but I finished the project. That counts. And I didn't say anything about fully finishing. Cause I, I'm smart enough not to torture myself that way. Ah, oh, I did not mention what I was wearing. Hmm. This is my Dust of Snow wrap. It is the one with the Canon Hand Eyes Advent colorway that I was opening during last year's um, Christmas thing. Because words are hard and I don't remember what they are. I don't remember. Gone. I don't know. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I, I, I got nothing. Um, 
nothing it's gone it's gone it, there's a word i have a whole playlist of them where i filmed every day during chris dur during december up till christmas anyway um this is the dust of snow wrap by mm, yambo o'brien maybe i don't remember right we're doing really well today um i i evidently need more tea Go get yourself some caffeine if you need it too. I mean, you might. I, I, woo, things are, things are. Right. So, that was my finish. And that was my cross stitch. Um, for my knitting, I haven't fully, have fully finished. I haven't completed a project, but I have finished one of my curling mist socks. So I have one sock fully done and I'm really enjoying this yarn it is really sweet I don't have it on a blocker or anything the toe is a little bit on the pointy side for my preferences you mean look at that boop, boop, boop. I, I did follow the um, directions because I wasn't thinking and uh, normally I do a much more rounded toe but this one is um, an arrowhead so I may go back and fix that later I don't know other than that I really am enjoying this sock um, I have not even started the second sock. It's just waiting for me, for when I want to head back to finish this pair. But I really do like the squishiness of the pattern. It's the Curling Mists sock by um, Curious Handmade, and I very much enjoy them. So that is where I am with my hmm, threads. That is where I am with that project. Other projects that I am currently working on in my knitting. Here is my, my work project living in my Matterroot main bag. And this is my half and half triangle wrap by Pearl Soho. And what do you know? I'm not in the middle of a row. Astonishing. So this is just a giant wrap that will be in a square because half and half triangle, two triangles, makes a square. So it is just a whole bunch of short rows <laughs> to make the giant triangle. I am very much enjoying this project. It is perfect for work. Um, I can pick it up, put it down, doesn't matter. It's just squishy, squishy garter stitch, and I love it. It is a Pearl Soho um, project, and I am using their linen quill wool or yarn it's an alpaca wool linen mix and i don't remember the uh, percentages of each of it i am doing them on um not the called for needles I'm, i went up a size so i am using the fours not a three because i tend to be a tight knitter so i went up a size in my needles so us size four which is a oh, i don't remember what my, my millimeters are it's a three point ah oh, three point five i was so close i was gonna say it's a three point no it's a three point five so um, this is the salt and pepper colorway for the yarn and I am absolutely loving it. It is wonderfully squishy and I really, really like the yarn. It, it just mm, has a good squish. I am nearing done on the first of three skeins of that color before I change to the black color for the other half. And I think that, yes, I think, I do know for that project. Um, one you're here and you work and the other one you go here and you work it, it makes a square and it's going to be lovely and squishy and huge other than that i am working on and i must reach oof, i am working on my gansey afghan and this is the penul penultimate ball so i am really getting close to a finish on this one Do, do, do. Let's find the front because it's a lot more exciting to show Gansey from the front than it is the back. So here's the Afghan giant square of gray. And this way down here is where I was last time I showed it on the podcast. I have been putting a ton of work into this because I want it done. <laughs> and as long as I don't overstress my hands, hmm, focus, focus, hello, let's focus, hmm, there we are. 
Nice to meet you again. I'm back in focus. Hi. Um, as long as I don't overstress my hands with the weight and the size of everything, more the weight, um, this is going very, very smoothly and well, and I'm kind of loving it. I have, like I said, I'm on the penultimate ball. I was just moving my stitch marker up. I am on the penultimate ball, so I have this, and then I have one more, and then I'm done. And I will have a lovely blanket, but it is, it's getting to be a decent size at this point, and I am enjoying it, but I also kind of want it done. So that is what I will be working on today. It, it doesn't really fit in my bag anymore, and it's in this giant bag, and it doesn't quite fit anymore. It, it's, it's almost like once you <clears throat> knit, the balls don't fit in so well. I mean, they're not balls anymore. They're, they're, they're knitting now, and they don't really fit in the bag anymore. It just takes up so much more room. <laughs> That's crazy. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. So that is what I will be working on a bit more today because I, I, an end, an end of a blanket is in sight. I can see it from here. It's, it's just right, right over there. It's fantastic. And I really, really would like to finish one of my blankets because now I have plants. We'll get into those soon. Just shoot me. Ow. Evidently I was sitting funny and now my leg's asleep. Mm. All the things you never wanted to know. Right, so that is more or less all I've been working on. Um, I got my mini months done and I'm so excited about that. And then mostly just the Gansey Afghan. A little bit on finishing the sock for curling mists. And then I just... Gansey Afghan, Gansey Afghan for days. Because right now, since I know how many whips I have, I'm desperately trying to finish one or two things before I start all the other things. And there's a list. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there's a list of things I want to start knitting wise. It's really not good. I mean, there's a huge list of things I want to start stitching wise as well. I mean, ooh, I, 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 I got some stuff in. Mm. And I don't think I grabbed it, so when it comes time for a haul, I'll have to go run and get it because I, well, I want to start it. I don't have any, everything for it, so I can't, but mm, anyway. That is, those are my whips. And some finishes, but not fully finishes, and we went through all that. Phew, we went through all of that. Now, we're gonna move on to plans. Mm, plans. A little bit nervous about my plans. Stitching-wise, my plan is, oh, it's living in my, my wonderful bats bag. Stitching wise, my plan, let me unfold her, oh, she's not ironed. That doesn't happen in this house. Much like finishing, ironing does not happen in this house. Let's figure out which way she goes, she goes this way. I have, ooh, how far back can we go? Right. <laughs> this is kind of hard to show. I have my Sarah Totem. Wow, couldn't remember. Sarah Totem, a scarlet letter. And this is what my plan is to start working on again next. I have been slowly working around the border, as you can tell. I am on this motif right here, right now and then I will work around and then I will do all the center part. And I am loving this one. It is on a fabric. It's a linen. I have no clue what linen. I have no clue what size. Gonna guess a 40? Possibly. It's a creamy colored linen and I no clue which one, but I am using Vicki Clayton silks on it. And I just love 
this Quaker. And yes, I have extra fabric because as you remember from when I was working on Jane Reese earlier, I get really nervous about cutting my fabric, even though at this point I really could cut this huge section off. But have I? No. No, I haven't because maybe I messed up. I didn't mess up. <laughs> it's ridiculous, isn't it? So this is my Sarah Totem, and that is my plan for something that I'm going to be working on the next few days, stitching-wise, while I impatiently, and I don't know why I'm impatient, it's still early in the month, early in the end of the month, um, while I wait calmly and patiently because the person who runs this is a very busy person with a very busy life and isn't here to entertain me, wait for the numbers for the next month's whip go. So I've been doing decently on my whip go. Since it's sitting right here, I will show it off. Do, do, do. Ooh. I forgot to link across that off. So here's my whip go. Yes, hand drawn because you know, I'm a Luddite that way. And I have made some changes. There was one project on here that I was like, I'm gonna do this. It was my Nova project, uh, which if you saw my whip parade is the um, needlepoint project. And I was like, I really need to get back into this. And I just have no interest in doing that right now. And so while I had put it on here twice, I decided that's not gonna happen this year, or at least not right now. So I took it off and just put more Jane Reese on there because I really wanna get Jane Reese farther along. So, I'm doing okay on my whip go. I, I haven't touched my, my village of Hawkrun Hollow squares. I haven't even touched those. Um, and that was called in April. We'll see. Other than that, I have done pretty, pretty well. So I am curious as to what will be called next month. I do have Sarah Totem on here, so we will see if um, that one is called, or if I just get to cross it off. I was going to do four motifs in two different squares. I called on here for two squares of four motifs each. So eight extra motifs on my Ceratotum. And I have done six. So we have two more, and then I can cross off a second square. And isn't that exciting? I think it's exciting. <sighs> right. So depending on what is called for Whitgo for June, um, who knows? I will work with Sarah, on Sarah Totem and those and possibly a new start. Because I don't have enough whips. I, whatever. And knitting wise, you've already heard that I'm going to finish my Gansey Afghan, slowly but surely. Um, I do not plan to have a finish of that before Friday for reasons that I will explain momentarily. I'll explain them now. Makes sense. Um, the Knit Girls, which is a podcast for uh, two girls, two women, knitters, um, Leslie and Laura run the Knit Girls. And every year around this time, they run what's called Stash Dash. And I am going to participate in Stash Dash this year. I attempted it last year and failed miserably. Um, but I'm going to do it this year. So if you are a knitter, you should go over and check out the Knit Girls. And if you don't already know who they are, I mean, they've been around forever. So, um, yeah. Anyway, if you don't know what Stash, Stash Dash is, it starts on Friday this year. This year it starts on Friday, which is the 23rd? Or is today the 23rd? Today's the 25th. I don't even know what time is. I'm going to look in my calendar because I don't know what days are. It starts on, do, 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 do. don't mind me looking at my calendar, which evidently I get. It starts on the 28th, because you know that would be Friday, because today is Tuesday and it's the 25th of May. And this is episode 17, I think, which I didn't say at the beginning, which I should have said at the beginning. But I'm very discombobulated today. There's a lot going on in the world and in my life, and not much going on up here right now. Anyhow, welcome to my channel, where this is pretty normal, 
and this is how things go. I would apologize, but this is just me. Hope you like it. And if you do, subscribe. Hey! I always feel awkward saying that. But, you know, there's like five of us here, so it doesn't really matter, right? We can just hang out. It's all good. Right. Stash Dash starts on the 28th, which is Friday. And it goes until, hmm, that's a good answer. I, August? July? I don't remember when it ends. I will figure it out. And if I do, I will put it in a square somewhere, probably over here. Um, and Stash Dash is where you try to get some of your stash out of your stash and into projects. So they have it set up for kilometers. How many kilometers of yarn you can get out of your stash in whatever way you need to. Um, I'm going for, I think three, three or five kilometers this time. I think I tried five last year and failed miserably, but I didn't expect to be moving in the middle of it and I did. So that didn't work so well for me. Hmm. <laughs> so I'm either going for three or five kilometers and that blanket, which will not be finished before Friday, even if I actually tried because I work Wednesday and Thursday, that blanket will really help with my kilometers. <laughs> anyway, it's just, it's just a, a, a fun way of trying to encourage you to get things finished and completed so that they're out of your stash and you can use them and wear them and have them done. It's just, it's, it's, it's a competition between you and you. You put out the number that you want to reach. You see if you can make it. You hang out with a lot of people who are trying to do the same. And some people get a lot of stash. Oh my gosh. Like there's people who do 15,000 kilometers. Like 1,500, not thousand. No? Anyway, lots of kilometers. <laughs> Because you can do it through weaving, or spinning, or knitting, or crocheting, or tatting, or it, it, does it use a long thread? You can probably do it. Maybe not cross stitch. That, that would be a little hard to... I don't think cross stitch is one of the allowed ones. But maybe. It's just, that's, that's... It'd take a long time to get a kilometer of, 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 of cross stitch thread finished. But you have to finish the piece and then you can count it. It's awesome. I enjoy it. I'm going to try it this year. And other than that, I'm going to pause for half a second because my camera is going to stop in just a moment because it, it doesn't want me to be as long-winded as I am. But it cannot be the boss of me. I am the boss of it. So I'm going to pause and then I will come back and I will show you the other plans I have. And while I am paused, I'm going to take this opportunity to grab the thing that I forgot to grab. Right, I am back. I decided to do a little bit more cleanup because I had a lot of stuff over here and freshen up my tea because I like it hot. And it's almost done. Which means I need more tea. Anyhow, where I was at was plans. So that was some of my plans. With the Gansy Afghan and the uh, Stash Dash, another plan I have, because you know, I'm finishing a blanket. And while I have like eight more blankets to do, and already on the go, I decided, you know what else I wanna do? I wanna start another blanket. And that would be my, my rainbow blanket, which <coughs> all the yarns live in there. It's living in my, my yama bag. Cause yamas, you gotta love your yamas. I love my yamas. Anyhow, this is just a simple, blanket I will be holding <laughs> this together with this to make a smarldy blankie and just garter stitch and it's gonna be wonderfully squishy and nice and I'm going to enjoy it and I think I'm going to start that in June because it's a rainbow marled blanket and it makes sense for me to start that in June for reasons and if you don't know what the reasons are well, raisins. So that's one of my plans. Another of my plans is to take these two yarns. They are blue. I'm not sure how well that's showing up. These two yarns and turn it into a rocket tee by um, 
Tannis Lavalet. Yay, remember the name. So this is another of my plans, is to, to make a nice summery tea. And my last plan, do, 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 is to take these lovely delicious colors and turn them into a summer sorrel. And summer sorrel is a project by Wool and Pine. And yes, ooh, so pretty. That is my plan for knitting. My three plans, my many plans, my many plans for knitting. Um, obviously the blanket would only be started in June. There's no way I can finish a giant, many skeined, squishy garter blanket in a month. I would kill my hands and they would be dead and I would not be able to use them again for weeks. And what's the fun of that? We want to craft. We don't want to abuse our, our hands. We want to, ah, 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 yes. Keep them healthy and safe for all the crafting. But those are some of my plans of what I want to do. I think I might actually um, swatch for this today so that I can see um, if the size of needle that I want to use is the correct one. Um, I'm trying to get some more summery tops into my wardrobe summery knit tops because I work at a yarn store and it is way too warm in that yarn store and I can't wear my knits. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out ways that I can wear knits and not die of heat stroke. Basically. Because whew, they keep it toasty in there. <laughs> but I want to show off my knits and I can't always wear things like this because, um, well I just can't. I only have so many. I need to make more. I do have my Kalara that I need to start. I'm pointing over there at my, my table because my Kalara, the two skeins I want to use of the yarn, they're all, they're all wound up into nice little cakes and they're just sitting next to me going, mm -hmm. and yet here I am wanting to start and start and start. Mm -hmm. I have a minor problem. It's called starditis. I want to start all the things, all of them. I want to start all of them. And that's just the knitting. Let's get into the stitching. All right, stitching plans. I told you I want to work on my Sarah Totem. Wow, names and words are very hard to me today. I, 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 I apologize, people. But we'll get there together. We will. We can get there together. Get to the same end destination, I'm sure. I want to work on my Ceratotum and whatever is called for um, whip go. But also, um, and I'm blanking on her name, Colorado Stitcher? I think it's Colorado Stitcher. She owns a yarn shop as well, but she has a, a floss tube as well. Um, she's doing a stitch camp for the summer, a virtual stitch camp, where if you start a project and finish it in that month, wee, you can have fun stitching things with other people. And there are like rules and weirdness. And it, it interested me. I don't know if I'll actually do it um, because I'm already going to be starting something else, which is called summer sock camp, where you try and knit socks over the summer because I knit socks and yeah. Anyway, I don't know if I'm gonna do stitch camp, but it interested me. And these are some of the things I wanna start. Not all of them. I would just pick one, but I bought this series because they're sweet and they're French and I like it. And I, I, I make jokes that the only French I know is, is restaurant French. So, the fact that this is all food French, cuisine, it makes me giggle and I like it. And also they're very sweet. They are very sweet. So I bought these recently because, um, yeah, they were released as a set. They had been, I think, part of a club and they were able to release them. So I bought it all, I bought 
all the, the delicious threads. And I did get, though they have not arrived because it takes a while to die. I did get the colors for the <laughs> linen. Wow, wow. The words thing, the words thing today is really, really hard. Kind of getting concerned. I obviously need more tea. Um, I did get all the called for linens because um, I want it to fit on a thing. Because I got the thing. You know, the thing. The thing. <laughs> that thing. I did get that. Because, you know, if you're going to go in and get a project and get all the things for the project, you need to get all the things for the project. So I got that too. And so I got the called for linens because um, that way it'll fit. And hopefully this will be easy enough that I can actually finish fully the items. But this is something I am tempted to start soon, but cannot because I do not yet have the linen. But it, it'll get to me. I mean, I ordered it a little while ago, but it, it takes time and it's not like I don't have other things to stitch. But that's one I want to stitch soon, hopefully. Something else I recently bought. Cause it's lovely. His eye was on the sparrow. Hmm. I forget who I saw. I, I was watching someone, someone's uh, floss tube. I don't remember who. And they showed this on a wall framed. And I fell in love because it was just beautiful. I was like, I don't, I don't, I don't need to buy another giant project. I should finish the things I already have. I really should. But I bought it. I have bought nothing else for it. I just have, I just have the project, the, 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 the chart, and nothing else. But this thing is so pretty. It was just, I just, it was so stunning I had to get it. It can join my other large projects that I want to start someday and eventually will, but it'll take ages. You know, like, and they send. Um, let's see, what other ones? Um, Oh, Metaputfarken, with all the roses. There's like a hundred of them. It, it, can, it can, you know, live next to that one. It, it can live next to um, the one that's all in blacks and I'm blanking the name on and it's absolutely beautiful and it's, it's all blacks and I, I don't remember the name of that, that particular chart. It's another giant one. It can live next to, hmm, well I've technically started Villages of Hawkorn Hollow, but I haven't started Shores or Halloween or any of the other Hawkrun Hollows. So it, it can live next to that one too, um, the chart. It, it can live next to, um, oh, all of my long dogs. Mm -hmm. All of my long dogs. I mean, I've started, I've started some of them, but it, it, it can live next to um, Death by Cross Stitch. It can live next to um, the Templar one. It, it can live next to the entire book of them that I bought that um, is all in French and is beautiful and um, has all the charts and it, it can live next to that. Yeah, I have tons of huge charts. <laughs> I have no business buying another one. But this was just so, I just seeing it on the wall framed just was so gorgeous. <sighs> it can live next to all of them, living in my stash. Tell me not to buy anything more. Oh, speaking of, something else I bought. I love these. I know, I know, these are, I've seen people doing them. They're just sweet. Summer's coming out soon. And I do have, sorry about the wrinkle, the perfect, perfect fabric for it. I mean, it's a 40 count. Yeah, 40 count linen. Yeah. yeah, but this, it's just DMC, right? Yeah, just DMC. So I'm thinking I might start one of these for June, maybe? Maybe I'll wait for summer to be released 
by it and start summer. Then I can do summer and summer and autumn and autumn and winter and winter, spring and spring, maybe? What do you think of that plan? Is that a good plan? I mean, it seems like a good plan to me, but it also sounds like I'm starting four new things and I haven't finished things. But it's four things in a year, because you have seasons. Not necessarily this year, but you know, over a year, and they're not that big, they're not that big, right? They're not that, they're 100 by 136. It's, it's not too big. Yeah, maybe that's what I'll do. I know that summer was just released, or is just getting released at the beginning of June, something like that. That sounds right. So I could buy it and pre-order it and get it and start it in June and try and finish it for summer camp, summer stitch camp, cross stitch summer camp. I know the name of, of, of summer sock camp. That's the one I have. That's easy. Um, which also starts in June and I will be starting a pair of socks for it because I don't have enough things going on. start all the things. I want to start all the things, but I also want to finish all the things, but I also want to start all the things. I want to start all the things. All of them. Like, every time I watch a new floss tube or a new, or a new podcast and they have these gorgeous objects and they finish them, I'm like, oh, that's so pretty. I want that. I want to start that. My problem is I want to start it. But a lot of these people, they just work on the one thing or they work on two things and they finish them. Finish. Finish. Hmm. That's a word I need to work on. But I'm a process crafter. Who's very, very, very polyamorous when she comes to her crafting. I love all the things. I love them all. Mm-hmm. So maybe it's a good thing that I'm a process crafter and not a project crafter. Because then I didn't get too overwhelmed usually. Should I just start all the things? Should I? Should I just say to heck with everything and just hell with it and start everything that I want to start? I'm tempted. Tell me, is that what I should do? I kind of want to. I kind of really want to. I probably shouldn't. What do you think? I think I should. No, I shouldn't. Yeah, I should. No. Yeah. We'll see. Come back in two weeks and we'll at least know what I'm doing in June. Um, right. So that is all my plans, which as you can tell, they're very, very solid well-formed, thought-out, and meticulous. Aren't they? Perfectly planned out. Just spreadsheet and everything. That's me. Not so much. <laughs> right. So, life stuff. Yeah, it's still going. <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> Things are busy. Um, Things are, I, I, I go to work, I come home, I craft, I go to work, I come home, I sleep. Because I'm usually too tired after work to do any crafting. Like, I, I uh, what was it, Thursday, I think, last week, I came home and I stared at my stitching. I was like, just staring at Jane Reese. And then I got my thread in my hand with my needle. And I stared at her some more. And then I put my needle on my needle minder. And I'm like, I can't. <laughs> I'm too tired. And that's how I've been after work for the last few weeks. It's, it's ridiculous. I don't know why I'm so tired, but eh, I am. It's what it is. So most of my crafting is getting done on non-work days. So it does limit my time a little bit, but that's okay. That's okay. 
I like working at a yarn store. It's very, very fun. And I get to pet all the pretty yarns and see all the pretty new yarns and then pet them and huff the yarn. I mean, I'm not the only yarn huffer out there. I'll have you know. So yeah, um, the kid is working his butt off, finishing, finishing school. The guy is beginning to prepare to start thinking about going back into the office. I don't know when they're planning on that. It's been everywhere from possibly June to possibly September to possibly A. So I have no clue what they came down on. Decision wise. Um, still have a, a housemate staying with us for a little while. And other than that, weather's been weird. the Pacific Northwest in spring, so that's pretty normal. It's been drier than normal and a bit warmer than normal. And I do not want 80 degrees in June in the Pacific Northwest. I live here for a reason, and that reason is gray skies and overcast and damp and rain. Not 80 degrees in June. Now, I've lived in deserts. I don't live in a desert now for That's about it. Nothing exciting, nothing new, nothing interesting at all. Well, okay, it's my life. I think it's somewhat interesting, but nothing really fun to share. So that's about it. So I will hope that all of you are making wonderful, wonderful crafting plans for your summer. Are you going to be joining summer sock, ca sock camp or are you going to be joining the um, cross stitch camp that I can't remember the name of? Cross stitch camp? Maybe it's just cross stitch camp. It could just be cross stitch camp. I don't recall. What are your plans for, for the summer or at least June? Share them with me. I'd love to know. Do you also want to start all the things? Are you also a polyamorous crafter? I want to know. All the things. I want to start all the things. All of them. I'm just staring at them all. They're just right here on the table. Just, just going. Hi, you like me. Start me. Then, of course, there's my whip pile and it's all going. Hi, you like me. Work on me. Mm. So difficult. I hope all of you are doing fantastic. I hope you have wonderful plans. And like I said, please do let me know what they are. I would love to know. And I will be back in two weeks and you can see whether I've started all the things or whether I've been calm and tame and responsible in my crafting. She's not going to be responsible in her crafting, people. You've seen me. This is like episode 17. You know I'm not responsible in my crafting. Whether she's been responsible in her crafting or whether she's gone crazy and started all the things, come back in two weeks and you too can find out. On that note, I'm gonna let y'all go. Get back to all your fun. Maybe you're planning. Maybe you're crafting. Maybe just going and taking a nap. Because those are also well needed. I will see you all in two weeks time. Take care all. Bye-bye.